I want to show you, which is very fucking crucial on the street and uh, for a violent attacks, how to protect yourself and uh, right away how to counterattack. It's crucial, as I said, and uh, there is different type of protections. I will show you some of them and I will show you which is, for me, the best way to protect yourself and to counterattack. Uh, let's say that you could see a lot of instructors, combative instructors and martial arts instructors, they explain that if you're in a fence position and if he does, let's say, a sucker punch, do a sucker punch, right? you put your hands up like that, okay? Yeah, it works to a point where if I miss, if I'm not precise, and if I miss this, and if I miss, he would still punch me, okay? And I don't want to take this chance, especially for the street, to get punched in the face. Uh, for me, the best way to protect yourself is uh, as if you're doing a uh, vertical elbow, but you completely close your elbow and you go inside of the person, okay? So if he does a sucker punch, let's say, which is very typical for the street, one of the most typical punches on the street are the sucker punch. If, I, if I'm in a fence position and he does, let's say, a sucker punch, the best way is to go inside his body and to protect yourself with all your hand, as if you're doing, as I said, an elbow. Okay. The best way is to go inside of the body, also protecting yourself this way. If you go inside of his body, also it's protecting and again, and already is attacking. Because if I go and I smack him somewhere on the chest, it's fucking painful, okay? So for me, this is the best way. And today I wanna show you some drills, how you could enhance your protecting skills and uh, your counter-attacking skills, okay? One of the drills that I like to do, but you have to tie up your hands. If you put it just back, backwards like that, and you hold it, you don't have this feeling, you, feel, you still feel free, okay? I don't want you to feel free. And the best way is if you tied up your hands like that. Push this thing here. You tied it. Tied up, oh, tied up my another one on the back. Okay. This way, you don't feel free anymore, okay? Uh, and uh, this is one of the drills that I don't say that you have to fight this way, okay? It's just to enhance your skills, how to protect yourself. And uh, imagine in some cases, if some of your arms and hands are broken and you have to continue fighting, you should continue fighting with some other tools that you have, okay? And this also it will teach your instinct to go inside of his body. That's, that's the most important part when you protect yourself from the punch, to go inside of the attacker's body. Okay, so the exercise is your hands is tied up, you're moving around, he's moving around, you could take a pad so you could hit me a bit stronger with the pad. Put one pad on the right one, <coughs> let's say. Okay. And the first deal, guys, is just you're going, you could start slowly, you're just going, you're looking at the person, he could push you, he could walk around you, okay? And whatever he decides, he could throw a sucker punch, okay? So I go, he pushes me, I go, you know, boom, I go inside of him, okay? And again, you could do it a bit faster and stronger, okay? So boom, I go inside, okay? So I move, I check, boom, I go inside. I move, boom, I go inside, okay? So I move, boom, I go inside. Go, go, go. You go, boom, you go inside. I try, boom, I go inside, okay? Then you enhance the same exercise, the same exercise. You, you continue, you, you do a counter-attack. You, you protect as much as you can by going inside his body, and then you counter-attack on the attacker. Uh, Nuri, you could put the helmet. Okay, and this is, you're doing the same thing now, okay, by, by counter-attacking on him. 
because you don't have hands, as I said, you have to use some other tools you have. You could bite, you could headbutt, you could knee, okay? You don't have that many options, okay? But you have to do it, okay? So the exercise looks like that. I'm walking around him, whatever he decides, he throws a sucker punch, okay? Boom, I go, boom, I head butt, boom, I'll fucking knee, for example. You okay? Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. You're moving, you're going around, he could push you, boom, you go in. But I prefer also, it's better to put more dynamics. You could push me, you could put a bit of more aggression on your body, okay? Let's make it, make it more real, okay? So we're walking, boom, sorry man, I don't know you. I don't know, boom, I'll go, boom, 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 I'll go, boom, I'll fucking knee, and I'll fucking run. You don't have other choices, okay? There is another way. You could bite also, okay? When you're inside of him, and then you could headbutt, for example, okay? So you go, whatever you decide, you you do a sucker punch, and move, boom, I'll go, ah, I'll go, boom, boom, fucking, boom, fucking knee, I'll fucking push him in the face, and I'll fucking run, okay? That's another way to train. Improvise, guys, okay? Improvise, I'm just showing you the drills, and you could improvise whatever you want with these drills. Okay, this is the first view for uh, how I train and how my students train to learn to protect, to have the instinct to protect and then to counter attack on the attacker, okay?